So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first we're going to expand HK local machine. Then we're going to expand system. Then we're going to expand current control set. Then we're going to expand control. Then we're going to scroll down and expand session manager. Here it is. You want to expand session manager. And then you want to scroll down and click on memory management. Now once you're on this, you want to double click on clear page file. And then you want to change your value data to 1 and click on OK. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in view advanced system settings. Click on it. And then make sure that you're on the advanced tab and then under performance, you want to click on settings. And then you want to click on adjust for best performance. And then click on custom. Which will then unselect all of this. And you want to tick show thumbnails instead of icons. And then tick smooth edges of screen fonts. And then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in system configuration. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on the services tab. And then you want to select hide all Microsoft services. And then you want to click on disable all. And then click on OK. If you get this, click on exit without restart. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on any service and click on S on your keyboard. Then you want to scroll down. And you're either going to have sysmain or you're going to have superfetch. You're going to have one of those. Whichever one that you have out of sysmain or superfetch, you want to double click on it. And then you want to change the startup type to disabled and then click on stop. And then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates that your computer may have. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on scan options and then you want to click on full scan and then click on scan now. Then you want to run this full scan. We can run this scan in the background as you complete the next step in the video. So you just want to minimize this. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search again and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Now we're going to head over to search again and type in CMD again. Then we're going to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and click on enter. Then you want to run this as well. So now once this scan has been done and this scan and the full scan, then you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.